Welcome back everyone to Let's Play War on the Sea in the US Campaign episode number 35. This will probably be a shorter video, but I still wanted to get something out. I also noticed, and I went and read the patch notes, that there's definitely been some change. Uh, most unfortunately, I don't know what the inner and outer circles refer to here. I'm pretty sure that the outer circle is... Well, I don't know actually. Maybe it's the air detection range and the inner circle is the um, naval detection range? But I'm, I'm really not sure. Maybe the inner circle is just the invasion area? No, that's where balls is definitely bigger. And yeah, this is, these aircraft are, I mean, it's the aircraft ones where they're bigger. But it's definitely not like the range of any, of any aircraft. So it must be, I'm thinking it must be the air detection range and the naval detection range, which, by the way, they've updated the rules as well. So I, I'm trying to math all this out. I don't know what the hell is going on here. <laughs> Sorry, to put it frankly, I don't. I read the patch notes and they don't mention this circle. Or, or if they do, for crying out loud, I read it three times because I was like, I'm just gonna go tell them that it doesn't mention it. And then I thought to myself, what if I just didn't see it? Because I'm reading things pretty quickly, just skimming for what the hell these circles are. Anyway, they've made some changes. So this, we just looked at this, so it's funny. We had just saw how this was 15 nautical miles. Now it's down to eight. I can't honestly tell you, but I think that these have all been reduced. Not, I'm not 100% sure about that. Maybe they're the same. Some gut feeling that maybe they've been reduced. But does this mean now that the detection range is only for aircraft? I really don't know. I just, I'm sure that somebody will know in the comment section or I'll go reread re re the patch notes for a fourth time. Really, three times I read it. Anyways, we have 74 points. There's been some discussion about putting troops on Guadalcanal and all that. And it is true, we only need uh, 250 troops to land to, to conquer anything. In fact, we, you know, somebody mentioned you can put 60 troops on the submarine, and that's enough. That's an interesting point. The problem is, and maybe I'll compensate, like I'm willing to compensate for the game's um, shortcomings by doing my own editing. The problem is with supplies, actually. So you can drop off 60 troops there, but unless you can drop off 120 supplies. The, ra the ratio, by the way, is 2 to 1. You want double the amount of supply for the optimum efficiency, if, uh, if I read that correctly. Although it probably doesn't matter if they're not in battle. I don't know if troops even need supply if they're not in battle. Okay, long story short, not new air. So there's been a lot of changes. I mean, there's supposed to be a slowdown of the ability of you know, land-based aircraft to regenerate, all that stuff. So let's go to merchant ships. Um, I want to get some troops to Guadalcanal, basically. So I want to give them an escort as well. But let's grab like two of these, three. Let's see. This is. I have enough supply there. I just don't have enough troops. So we get two troops. Let's go. Let's do three troops and two supply. Three troops, two supply, and we'll do one other. Um, just we'll do a destroyer as well, and that'll give us a, a couple more troops. These guys are all destined for Farragut. Are you a reasonable option? Probably. I mean, I don't think it matters too much. Set of the Farragut. I don't think any of these matter. Porter. I think we've used like all the porters, haven't we? No. Well, just give me something with yeah, twelve. How about the? No, these don't have. I thought these didn't have. Only have four though. Four guns, four guns, four guns. We have six guns on the... Uh, are these eight points? Nope, these are also six points. What is the downside of grabbing this? Eight torpedoes, but six dual-purpose guns. Has depth charges. All right, let's just... Let's try one of these out. Somers, you're hired. We'll move you to the, the front of the formation. And I think that's good. Okay, so that is 56 points out of our 74. That's fine. I don't really think we need anything else. Well, Charlie's about... <laughs> I say that even though Charlie is supposed to get at least one more destroyer. Can probably still get two destroyers. We might have more destroyers by the time they actually make it home. Damn it, Anyo, to cancel the stupid... Try this again. So add. And then just one, two, three. Those are for troops. Four, five for supplies. Good. Done. All right. This is actually going to be convoy. And what do we have? Z, Y, X. So X ray. 
Oh, they don't allow dashes. Well, we'll do it x-ray then. No, sorry. Done. Done editing. Convoy x-ray. Let me check. Ah, I'm not even, I'll check it next time, next video. So Zulu is what, or sorry, let's see, x-ray. I think x-ray is the one that stays the same. I don't know though. Okay, well, what else? What else could it be, right? The X, X should be pretty easy to guess. Now, wow, the pathing maybe even looks better now. We're gonna do this, get this one up to, no, it's definitely not better by the way, because I was, hey, we can even see it here. No, actually it doesn't look that bad here. Um, this, has, I was, this is actually four or five waypoints. I hate the fact that they drop down so quickly and I don't know if it's a big deal or not, but I was trying to get them not to drop down so quickly. I would like just a straight line. And look at, do you see this line? It's going backwards. Do you see how it goes backwards? Why would it go backwards? It's like dag diagonal down to the left. I know it's not easy to see here, but it actually can, there it is. Like you see how it goes backwards right below the H? Okay, I don't know, I, don't know. I, need, I probably need to get more sleep. These are the things which occupy my mind. <laughs> Get home, don't worry about it. Tortuga, let's move on. Well, let's unpause. That's the main thing. And I don't even know what's going on in this episode. I'm definitely not scouting. I have no idea how scouting goes. There's auto scouting, by the way. This is a new thing. Um, looks like this group is still launching aircraft, which makes sense because they have uh, that one light cruiser still. Now we can probably get some aircraft over yeah, we have 10 Dauntlesses, that's gonna help. I think we'll just, we'll launch these guys. Set a course for here, and just prepare to deal with that situation. Uh, did we end up killing this group? I Yes, we did. You can RTB, because I remember now that we <laughs> almost lost the Fletcher and Radford to that. I probably ought to get another group of destroyers for ASW, but okay, fair enough for now. And also, this is 250 troops, that's actually fine. Yeah, okay, move at 60, let's see what goes on. Scouts are coming back. Do need to turn up the volume a little bit. Lots of scouts coming back. Okay, are you home? Not yet. You're, you are moving, right? Yeah. Okay, Zebra's slowly making her way there as well. Ah, okay. That's probably from a submarine, but we, are, we have been spotted. And you don't have a course, so let's just continue to push you in the direction of the slot. Ignore that. How much time do we have overhead here? 314. Still plenty of time. I wonder what happens if I call tactical. This could be very, very bad. Again? They didn't join? Why is it always the tuna? Oh, we're on the surface, so there's... Do I get... Okay. If we're on the surface, I don't think that the enemies can be here. But 180 seconds, why? Like, we can shoot it down. But they have this new thing I saw where, you know, technically... Um, air, if you've been spotted, they won't send multiple aircraft to spot you. So the AI apparently was a little gung-ho about redundant aircraft spotting you. They won't do that anymore. Hey, even I do that, by the way. <laughs> it's kind of nice to keep tabs on something. But this is weird. I have no idea where this, this force is. Conveniently, this Kingfisher is going where they, <laughs> they think I should be. But actually, I would rather them move along this line, which is probably what, more or less the line that this convoy would take if it was retreating. Okay, so that submarine apparently is still launching. This is interesting. Where did you come from? Ignore. Overhead. It's weird. So many weird things happening. 
The story is ready to launch. Don't really care about that. Yeah, we didn't capture anything here. I don't know, I'm so confused. Zebra? Okay, ignore that. Got him. Got him. What the hell? They're right on top of us. And how many is it? One light cruiser, two destroyers still. So we, yeah, we want the Dauntlesses in here. This should be, um, yeah, tactical. Okay, so Tuna, you had better be... Why are you always at the surface, though? Now you aren't. Very good. So radar, periscope depth, scope up, start. Oh my gosh, you're very close. Okay, that's still good. In fact, if you can get a solution on the rearmost... Yeah, so Tuna, F7, maximum speed, hard to port. That's actually going to be okay. We can do something there. We're going to split off. Oh, we can't split off. We're, well, we can. We could do two groups of three, two groups of two. I kind of like the idea of this, actually. Break form up. All right, so we're going to do three groups of three, three groups of two. Two groups of three, two groups of two. Sorry. Um, navigate over here. So you'll be probably the one that attacks number one. No, 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 wait. You have to be number three and four. So I'm going to give three um, three dive bombers. Oh, shoot. I messed up the formation before I forget. Well, line ahead doesn't really matter that much, but we'll do Vic formation, which might as well be echelon left or right, whatever it is. Break form up again. Yeah, okay, so you're moving here. We'll just move everyone there for now. Five. Move you a little bit closer since you have more ground to make up. And number nine has the most ground to make up, so we'll move them in the most aggressive manner. Very good. Okay, so now I want to actually control Tuna while they're <clears throat> overhead, because if we can get a barrage off here, it'd be really good. And I think, by the way, people mentioned this, and I'm, I believe you're onto something, that the computer is not taking into account the turnaround time. What I really, really, really want to do is save the game, spend some, I don't have time right now, but I just want to fire the torpedoes at like a 179 degree gy gyro angle, just enough that they don't hit my own submarine on the way back, and then just take a stopwatch, and count how much time it takes for them to go and come back. Then, using the speed, I mean, I can actually find out... But just knowing the time is fine, but I could probably... That might already be good enough that I could um, just add uh, the distance. I want to know more of the distance than the time, in a weird way, because then I can add that distance to whatever I presume this is. This is all to set up manual fire. To set up a manual fire thing. Now, we're at 90... You know, perfect solution for this. Let's go ahead and give it a five degree spread. Five torpedoes, six, why not six? And fire. Is this gonna be possible? I doubt it. Five degree spread is pretty big, but six torpedoes, so it's less than one degree spread for each of them. Should be able to get some hits. They might also change course, so I'm, I'm gonna use four degree spread. Ah, five degree spread. Fire. <clears throat> okay, this, um, the tuna has done her job. She has done her job. So that's, what we need to do is actually buy time with these Dauntlesses for the tuna to be successful. And honestly, even if the tuna is not successful, I mean, hopefully she gets any kind of hits. And then we can, um, let's just send her that way. But if she gets any kind of hits, we, um, we can use the dive bombers who on the destroyers that come after her. And we're already taking flak, so this is not good. I need to move away, I think. So let's just let's just move away. Let's navigate. I'm in a out and back. you and you're way too close. Shortcut this a little bit, something like that. Okay. 
Hopefully we're not taking any hits there. How far away are these torpedoes? I mean, they should be pretty far away. I think I see them right here. They got a ways to go. The Dauntlesses, I think, are out of harm's way for the moment. Well, they're still firing. I just speculate they're not going to be getting close enough to do any hits. Yeah, so we're pretty far away. Yeah, well, the flag's not that far away from us. Although, I don't think this long-range flak has a very high chance of hitting. You can see the shells going and bursting. Always very cool. So yeah, we, what we want to see is whether or not the Kuma gets hit on her own. If she does... Uh, I don't know where those torpedoes are. <laughs> Are they just going to miss? Oh my gosh. Well, first of all, yes. They are going to miss, it looks like. But they actually are approaching. Wait a second. Oh my gosh. Maybe one, two hits. One hit. It'll be a dud. It wasn't a dud. It was amazing. Okay, Tuna, you've done, you've done yourself an amazing service. That was, like, really, truly, that was amazing. Because now, you just navigate completely away from them. The destroyers are going to... I mean, everyone's going to break off. It's going to be pandemonium. And that is when the Dauntlesses are going to really thrive. So the Tuna's... I don't think she'll be sacrificed. I don't think this is going to end up being, like, the end of her. However, we're going to gamble with her life using her as bait for the destroyers. Now, what's even better is we can probably launch a spread of torpedoes rearward, just expecting them to come right at us. In the meantime, the Dauntlesses are going to once again turn around and move this way. Okay. So you're pretty much on the course I would want you to have. And if they just come right at you, what we want to do is just file. I want to fire like a manual launch. A very low spread. Okay, so very low spread. Maybe a one degree spread with four torpedoes manually firing the rears. Um, yeah, we're going to do this manually. Just see if we get lucky. I know that's a little premature, but I, I actually want to get this over with as quickly as possible. You know what? Let's just let's gamble on. Let's gamble a little bit more. Two percent. Hedge a little bit to the south so we possibly hit the other destroyer instead. Okay, let's do something like that. We'll see what happens. We'll see. We'll see. And now we can do whatever we want just to get the hell out of here. First of all, I think we'll just drop down to 350 where we don't think we'll cavitate. Even at 9 knots. Where are the Dauntlesses? Yeah, they're coming back nicely. So this is actually a really good opportunity. I think that we'd be in good shape to dive bomb from this angle. So, let me go ahead and prepare two groups of two. You guys are actually up. It's your time to shine. And yes, one of our fellow submarines is on the line. Life is on the line, so don't mess it up. In the meantime, how's the Kuma doing? I don't think she's going to sink, but she is... Well, actually, she has already taken a hit. Um, so she might actually be in really bad shape. I think the tune is going to be okay, though. So still, you know, doing our thing. And you know what? You can also drop your scope. <laughs> I don't need that right now. But you're in good shape. We have plenty of time to evade. Probably need to go in with the other dive bombers anyway. Because it doesn't make sense to make a run. Now that I'm thinking about this. It doesn't make sense to make a run with just one or two. Might as well be making the run with everyone at the same time. Because we're all going to experience the, you know... 
we're gonna experience the uh, what's it called anti-aircraft fire regardless and I was gonna go after these tankers suddenly I'm realizing why do I need to go after the tankers those would be so easily to mop up in with any anything the only thing I really do need to go after is the destroyers here because this Kuma is really badly damaged so I mean in a twist of fate no I don't know what this would be called but in a last minute decision change my groups of three are actually gonna be go are actually gonna go after the destroyers so you are going to target number one, and you're going to make your run in a second. You're going to target number two. Okay, here we go. We're going in. Got up to 350. Let's start turning you south, because if they're heading south, we want to head south. Now, I did talk about this. We still want to go after the Kuma, so let's get, yeah, let's get you to target and dive bomb her. And four, you are on standby. You're like in the dugout waiting for the call. Let's see how our dive bombers do, preferably from above. Above the water, I think would be better. But with only two destroyers, even though they are more modern, I'm hoping that this is uh, going to be more effective. Now, if we had given them an order, this was a good idea, as I may said, to give them an order. Okay, we got hits with two. Okay, they're not even listening. They're finally mashed their damn buttons. Oh my gosh, wait a second. I forgot about the torpedoes. They might... Yeah, it looks like they're going to miss. They're going to perfectly, it looks like, split the difference. So did we completely miss number one? Yes. Which means that number four, your orders are to go after number one. These guys are already going after the Kuma, so I'm just going to let them do their dive. A little bit too late to react to that. Oh, good hits. Okay, that might be enough to doom the Kuma because she was already damaged. Kuma sinking, just like that. Fantastic. You're breaking off. I'm going to do some level bombing with you. Because I'm desperate. Desperate for a hit. Look at those torpedoes. would have been perfect on the manual fire. But alas... Okay, here we go. I don't know if I'll hit or not. That was a good spread though. Oof, nice. One getting hit by something. She's turning, so that makes my bombs a little bit less effective. Let's see where they go. Oh yeah, well, it would have been good. That was a good looking shot. Just, it's gonna end up being a miss. Okay, very good. Well, still, I would say that that was a successful run. Okay, good. Everyone and all of them survived. That was the best part. She's not cavitating down there. Fantastic. So, good damage. Kuma sunk. Destroyers are gonna have their hands full. Nothing else. And we can probably bring her I think it will be worth it to bring our Dauntlesses all back. Yeah, let's bring them back over here. Everyone back here. We can take stock of who's too damaged to pers you know, like, per, uh, to go after the destroyers one more time. Destroyers, yeah, they're still persisting. And I, I did not, in the end, turn off my computer, my um, torpedo reloading. <laughs> so the tuna is actually still capable of doing something. We just don't need her to do anything. Now, I also saw in the patch notes that the strafing damage was reduced and strafing armor was increased. 
I don't know what that'll mean against destroyers. So Akuma's dead. This one is probably the one I want to target if we can get at least one destroyer. I will consider that a huge success. How are your torpedoes doing? One torpedo in the front, two, I mean, sorry, two in the front, one in the rear. So we could, well, we, actually the destroyers, yeah, that's right, they have a low draft. I don't know if torpedoes are going to do anything to them. Why don't I just do kind of a crazy everyone form up? Maybe we're going to decide maybe not to strafe. Everyone form up in Vic formation and at least number one, her, the very number one itself will not be making this run since number one is damaged, but that's okay. See who else is not going to make the run. I'm going to get everyone else to form up on number two now instead. Okay, good. Number one, you can just go on home this way. There we go. Let's see who else is damaged. Looking good. We might have a fighting crew here. Yeah, they are all intact. And we're closing in on the destroyers, so this is actually a good thing. I think if we do a strafing run on number two, she will not survive. I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's worth it because everything is pretty spread out. Kuma's down. One is not really in a defensive position. At least she's a little bit away, and it's getting worse. So we are going to make that run. Like so. We'll definitely want to speed up. Well, I don't even know. Sometimes I wonder if you should speed up. But we should speed up like uh, until the final, the very last second at least. Right now, not speeding up is good just because we're buying more time for one to abandon her stricken compadre. Alright, let me give the order. Are they going to loop? They're not. Okay, here we go. This should be brutal, especially at the lowest speed. Now, I'm going to control number two herself. The idea here being that maybe I can peel her off if she starts to take too much damage. I'm also going to get all these individuals so I can form them back up as soon as the uh, strafing run is done. But this is not, if it's not firing flak at us even, I have a, a good feeling about our attack. We're probably not going to take much damage until at least after the strafing run. But it's a good thing we are attacking this one because she has stopped her flames. That is still a lot of machine guns. <laughs> that is so many machine guns. <laughs> okay, let's warm up. Okay, good. We're actually, we did it. Without losing anybody. That was good. I don't think we'll make another one, but hey, if we end up sinking this stupid destroyer, which, yeah, they actually did a lot of damage there. <laughs> Didn't lose an Avenger, uh, Dauntless, I should say, but it probably nearly did. I would surface the tuna and actually have her contribute, but we all know how well that'll go against transports. But I will, you know, actually, I think we'll just basically call this video to a close. I mean, the video. Not quite the video, although I don't have too much time. Uh, we'll probably call this battle to a close. Let's just see what happens. I mean, she's smoking again. There's a chance. She's been hit by a couple bombs, right? Yeah, I lost him on this. It'd be nice if this just continued to scroll up and up and up. 
Is there any reason why we need to hard limit it just to make this thing not too big, maybe? Or not too small? The grab, scroll. Anyway, she's on fire, but I don't think she's likely to sink. We've done some good damage to her. This mission is still successful because we have our surface fleet still out there running. Oh, wait. There's hope. Go back up this periscope depth. Navigate this way. And do actually make maximum speed, because I... I want you to chase after these destroyers just to see if they sink. Too late to get them back. Okay. Radar. Scope. Kingfisher. These are our these are our hopes for finding this destroyer. Okay. You know, she's definitely visible. I mean visible except for, you know, not Ah, shit. No, yep. Fire's still there. Of, we're not tracking her. I wonder if I should surface. That's just, they have a lot of guns. <laughs> I probably should avoid that. But on fire, and yeah, I mean, a lot of damage must have happened by now. Well, let me just cut away from this before we know her final result. Not like a second later, she actually did finally you know, reveal herself to not be smoking anymore. So, yeah, we'll just go ahead and retreat from this one. Critical damage? Oh my gosh, that's a lot of damage. So, the Kuma, we got seven more points. It's probably time to check. Yeah, you are back in port. So, let's, let's have you, uh... I think we can do it this way, right? Just add somebody to you? Or do we have to create a new one and then merge? Well, I want destroyers. Let's start there. Yeah, add unit. Okay, good. So what do we have already? Blue is a... You're my boy, Blue. Well, I guess we can find out. She's probably a... Gridley? Bagley. Okay, we have, well, we have a Jarvis, which is going to replace her then. Um, select friendly home port and use new. Damn it! Okay, so we do do we do need to do it this way. New C, get the Jarvis, and I think that's it. What else would we want to get? We have 25 command points, so we're not probably not going to be able to get anything else. I'll have to redo that where we get the Jarvis. But we have a Brooklyn and a. Weird, some of them face to the right, but the phoenix faces to the left. Right? Am I crazy? Everyone faces to the right except for the phoenix. <laughs> but you're going the wrong way! Uh, Brooklyn and a Alaska class, or sorry, uh, Atlanta class. So we don't want any, I mean, if we want anything, what, what, is, what do you already have? You have two, you know, this is actually, if we're going to merge them, this is already fine. Let's just get the Jarvis done with it. So, let me see. Bagley. Done. Then we can grab these both, I think, and merge. Merge. Got it. All right, Jarvis is now intact. We're doing a line two column right, whatever, doesn't matter. Jarvis, switch to the front though, which means we're gonna have to do a little bit of swapping here. Okay, swap and swap. That's not bad. You guys need to rearm. I thought it was rearm, is it? I guess it's called replenish, okay. Yep, that worked. Now we're in business. Set a course for victory. All right, very good. 
Uh, don't think that's that there's anything else we got. With 19 command points, we could probably load up with at least one more light cruiser. And with all the Japanese heavy cruisers gone, that is something to consider. I mean, we don't need to worry about heavy cruisers. So our light cruisers are now essentially heavy cruisers because they're better than the Japanese light cruisers. So getting another Brooklyn, how many do we have? Okay, I mean, we have plenty left. We could get one more. What else would we want? I think this Atlanta is the last thing we can afford. Yeah, Cleveland is too much. Well, let's get one more Brooklyn for crying out loud. Who's going to complain about yet another? Unless I want to wait and get more heavy cruisers because then that'll increase my shore bombardment. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Their surface fleet is not going to be a threat anyway. I'm not going to get this because... Even the number of ships we already have fielded, which is not that many heavy cruisers, not that many light cruisers, is still, I think, probably double the total amount of heavy cruisers and light cruisers that the Japanese have at their disposal. And obviously we're going to win against any, like, destroyers. I mean, discounting torpedoes, at least. But just in the surface fight, whereas, the, I mean, the value of light cruisers and heavy cruisers is in one sinking destroyers, which they can do. And their surface capability is not going to be in question against destroyers and against light cruisers although there are modern ones remaining uh, we have more than enough we have more than can counter that so the only reason why we would want more at this point is just if we wanted to like overkill like provide multiple different light cruiser killer fleets all over the place but if we find them and our scouting has been pretty good so far we shouldn't need to do we shouldn't need more than like slightly more than their number basically Okay, so you're on the way, and you're just going to blow right by. Enterprise is ready for launch again. <clears throat> Actually, this is a good point. Can I get those Dauntlesses? There they are. You guys should RTB. I would love if it would tell us when they do or do not have ammo left. Anyway, Baker. Enterprise. Aircraft. So we only have one Dauntless gone from this... Which kind of makes me want to use the dogs, the Hornets aircraft. And probably this group should start thinking about heading home. Only three Avengers. Actually, some of them might be currently on a mission. Whoa, maybe not. Yeah, maybe not, actually. Um, what do we have? Two oilers, two torpedo... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, two destroyers left. Well, I think that that is the kind of mission that would be good with uh, level bombing. So we'll do a little cheesy level bombing against that. They're probably just going to stay over the area and wait for um, easy to engage and then provide cover when that happens. Tuna, how many torpedoes do you have left? You have four torpedoes left, so you actually need to set a, set a course home yourself. I think for you, unfortunately, the fastest way home. You can see that this is very inefficient. <laughs> um, I think the fastest way home for you is to do it this way. So go replenish. Eventually we'll have our replenishment up on Russell, but it's gonna take a long time to get there. Our, the first step of that is almost arriving in Zebra, but it's been a long, I mean, how many episodes ago did we launch Zebra? So many. Okay, you guys are getting over the positions. Now, without a light, without a light cruiser, our even convoy Zebra is probably a match debating whether or not we want... Okay, let's have Easy continue to retreat just in case they continue to attack. And it'll be up to the Avengers to deal with them if they decide not to attack themselves. Um, I don't know when the next day is going to come, but we're still at 12.50 here. Hmm. Philadelphia is ready to launch aircraft. We're still going at 60x. This is crazy. And there is supposed to be, I saw that there's like an auto launch option. I don't know if it's a an option I need to select somewhere. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of questions. I'm, I feel like I'm back to the point in the game where I, I don't know anything anymore. Okay, anyways, you're here. So we could do unload all, but I don't know if we want to unload all. Let's just do manage 
cargo and see what we have. So we do want to drop off some troops, yes. And that's pretty much all we want to do. I think that all we want to do is drop off those troops. You're blank. We do want to drop off supply and fuel though. Sorry, energy, it's just energy. Engineering and fuel and supply, somebody. Yes, supply. But these extra 250 troops, which I was planning to land here, I think we're gonna go deliver those back to Guadalcanal on the way back. Because we don't, we just don't need them. So yes, do this. Did it work? It did. And there, anyway, Russell Island is now ours. And I know that this is an interesting choice, but we're gonna start leveling up the port facilities. Okay, good. So that was fantastic. That was really, really, really good. We're gonna navigate you back to drop off a couple extra troops to help out the few over there. We also have, how many of these guys have on them? 1250 and 2000 supplies. Yeah, we have 1250 and 2000, that's good. We could split off, I think, see, see uh, number two here. Might not have anything. Yeah, number two doesn't have any, no, 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 two does. Yeah, number three does not. We could split off number three and just have him go and do something else. You know what? I think I will. All right, you're gonna just go home by yourself. Lucky you. I think it'll be okay though. I think it'll be okay. And I'm gonna have to call this video to a close here. So how exciting, we got a, an episode out without, an, without interruption, it's a miracle. So until the next one, thanks for watching, stay safe, and take care.